Hi, yeah, welcome back to the channel. But, um, alright, so today we're gonna talk about why I got fired from Amazon. So, look, before you watch this one, I'm gonna put a little thing up in the corner, real quick. Uh, go click that video, it's a little cool one, just a little family fun day at the fair. Had a little fun, a little sad in the beginning, you'll see. But yeah, go watch that one. Sure. We're gonna start with forward, during, and then we're gonna go to why I actually got fired from Amazon. Alright, so before, um, before I even worked at Amazon, I was just strictly shooting music videos. Like, strictly. That was it. That was my literal, like, day job. Like, I had, that was my way of making money, was shooting music videos. Now, before that, I mean, I was still shooting music videos, but I was, like, I was a painter, and then they fired me. They said for being too tired, but I don't know why they actually fired me. And then I actually found out I had a kid right before I went to L.A. And then, like, throughout that entire summer of 2020, um, I was fine. Like, I was... I was doing fine with like music videos, commercialization, all that stuff. Like video stuff in general, I was doing fine with. But then like, for some reason, like it could have been, there could have been multiple reasons why I'm not 100% sure exactly why, but like September, like August and September were kind of like really slow. Like I would get a video, but it'd be like maybe once a week or once every two weeks. And I was like, that's not enough. I don't know what's going on here. So um, my girlfriend uh, said, look, you either gotta shoot more videos or you got to get an actual job. And at the time, I just didn't want to have any conflict, so I just applied to a few jobs, and Amazon was the one who gave me back. It was also having a sign-on bonus, that's kind of why, like 3,000 sign-on bonus, which is kind of bullshit, because it's not three grand. They give you like maybe 2,100 altogether. So I got, I applied to Amazon, and surprisingly, well not surprisingly, they hired me, because they, they pretty much just hire everybody. But yeah, they'll just give everybody a chance. So they'll hire you, they hired me. I worked there from, so I worked there from November to this past week which is August. So, well, it's currently September, but I got fired in August. Sure, so I worked there from beginning of November to the end of August. Because when I got back from vacation, because I, I went on vacation, and I also had a wedding to do up there, so I was just like, all right, I'll take the kids, have a little vacation. We went for like four or five days, something like that. Hiring sure, process was easy, literally just showed up, took a picture, got a drug test, left, that was it. Went to orientation, was there for five hours, called it a day, left. That is, it's a touchy subject for me. Not saying like, sure, it wasn't, so I can't say many good things about it. I just, I, I didn't mind working there. I just hate working there. If, if that makes sense, if y'all can like meet me halfway with that. If you don't mind a place, but you don't want to be there. That type of situation. Good, they paid me. Well, the good thing was I was working part time. So like I still had time to do the videos or whatever else I wanted to do and have family time while I was still working. I was still shooting videos. So like I was still able to make money with both things, and I was trying to work on a third thing, but getting fired from them kind of messed it up. Had a little setback, but gonna come back with a major comeback, I promise. I would say the only good thing, other than the, the pay and, and the, like, the part time, the part time is, um, I mean, the people were pretty cool. I met a few key people that was like pretty cool there. I didn't expect that much. One of the good things I would say is the time flexibility. Cause like, you don't have to work 40 hours a week. You don't have to, cause it's, you have to work minimum 20 hours a week, and they're fine with that. And you could be fine with that, because it's 300 a week. 20 hours a week is 300 a week. You work 40, you get 600 a week, something like that. After taxes, like, maybe fucking, maybe 550, maybe 500, I'm not sure. But still, 500 a week isn't that. That's still two grand a month. And then plus, you have time flexibility for yourself, so even if you are, so even if you're doing videos like how I'm doing, which shooting YouTube videos, uh, even if you have just other like side hobbies or side jobs or uh, side hustles, you still have the opportunity to do that because you have the time and flexibility to do it. You don't have to work. I mean, you, you gotta work, but I mean, you don't have to work there like 40 hours. You can like work there 20, 30 hours. You can pick shifts. You can pick up your own shifts. You can pick up your own shifts so you can work certain times you really want to. So you don't have to work there 40 hours a week if you don't really want to. If you got side hustle, side jobs, etc. Um, the bad, where do I start? Like, I don't mind working for jobs at all. Like, I'll work a nine to five, I'll work a six to two, whatever. If the management is not on par or helping or being any type of help in any kind of way, situation, or whatever, like, it doesn't matter. If the management is horrible, I will not like the job. There's a few places that I actually enjoyed working that I actually left on my own terms. The management, the management was horrible. Like, if I didn't get fired from Amazon, I'm gonna keep it a buck. I'd have probably just quit. That's why I was just riding it out till I got fired. I knew it was gonna happen, so I just rode it out till they, till they kicked me out the door. The management, at least the one I was working at, I worked in one of McKee's Rocks. Like, that, it was garbage. Like, the management there was trash. Every 
three months there was a new manager coming in and out. So it was like that was like a thing. It's like how am I supposed to how am I supposed to enjoy this when I keep getting a manager switch out? Like that didn't make any sense to me. I didn't like and I didn't like that at all. Management, 100 percent trash. I don't if you have better situations or better management than yours, leave it in the comments below. Now I did say the the good side was the employees, but that's also a bad side because a lot Shutter shot. I'm not gonna say this about me without sounding ignorant. The people that work there it was frustrating. They were just frustrating. Most of the time we were doing either next sorts, next shifts, or redoing what last shift did, which made it even more annoying. Like the pallets. Like we would come in at, because I work nights, we would come in at night and pallets would be halfway sure, broken, sure. falling down. Got to rebuild it from top to bottom. It'd be wrapped already. You got to rebuild it. Or, and like there's just shit everywhere. Shift, we'd have to wrap everything, even though it was next shift, a leg legitimate yeah, job. Sure. Like their job was wrapped down. Ours was just sort. Like we're sorting stuff, we're not here to wrap everything. So like that was kind of, that was like really annoying. Like I understand they want to get us hours, but like bro, if my job's done, just let me leave. Like yeah, that's a fact, if my job's done, just let me leave. HR was, was despicable. Hagdomized HR. Every single, there was like one dude that I actually liked. I wouldn't say like, I actually like could deal with. Everyone else was just despicable and rude and unknowledgeable. Like I would act, I would call it EHC or whatever the fuck it was and they would say something and then I'd go to HR and they would say something different or HR would say some EH and uh, and they would say something different. So it'd be like, it'd be like a whole argument between me and them consistently. One time I couldn't make it in. I called them, told them like, hey, I can't make it in. They're like, all right, it's fine. Go tell HR, everything will be cool. You won't get a problem at all. Sure, I go to HR at my at my sort, and they're like, oh no, they, I guarantee they can say anything like that. I'm I'm just I just walked away and called it a day. With the HR, they actually they're really disrespectful. At least the one that I was, at least the HR uh, individual I was working with, he was like very disrespectful and rude, and it made me like very mad because he said something about my kid that really irritated me and he never got in trouble for it. That was the thing, I, got, I wrote up, I wrote, I wrote, I wrote him up three times. Even one of the managers knew about it but did nothing about it because this isn't getting away. I'm not letting that one go. Don't say nothing about my kid. Especially if, because you're supposed to be the one, you're human resources, human resources. You're not supposed to be disrespectful or rude or ignorant about stuff like that. Like you're supposed to help. Another thing was the breaks. They would think it was only like a 15 minute break, which is cool, whatever, that's fine. Because we're only working four or four or five hours, three or five hours. And then you get, and then, then they, they call you back after 10 minutes. So you get really a 10 minute break. And if you don't leave the break room, then you get it right up. So like, I'm kind of glad that they fired me. Because I just couldn't deal with that place anymore. What irritated me about when they fired me, it was after my shift. Now, I live an hour away from that job. In order to go an hour, an hour to drive there, an hour back, plus the three to five hour sort that I'm shift that I'm there. So all together that adds to seven hours that I could have been doing 100% something else. This, this shift was only three hours, so five. But there was, I could have done so much more with either YouTube, music videos, I got a couple weddings to edit, or even just the kid. And, uh, I could have been here hanging out with them, enjoying family time or something, not at a job where I'm gonna get fired the, the moment the shift's over. So they fired me the moment the shift was over, and that kind of agitated me, because it's like, why couldn't you just, yeah, they email me about me and saying, oh, we're gonna get your write up, but they can't email me about, hey, don't come into work, you're fired, or you're you're just done. Like, I'd have been like, all right, cool, whatever. I literally would've been completely fine. Another thing about HR that I didn't like was, I don't know if this was HR, but it was the it was the time in general, the time things in general. It was, it's called, called it, it, um, it's called UPT and PTO. That means unpaid time off and PTO is paid time off. So paid time off is you just, you get like 25 minutes or something every four hours or something like that. Or like it's an hour or something like that. I'm not on this one. But UPT, unpaid time, it works like, and here's the thing, that, that, that didn't matter. If you don't have an hour, you're gonna get ready late or anything like that for three hours. That was maybe like 10 minutes later, 10 minutes clocking out early. They take, no matter how, what minute that you clock out early or come in late, no matter what the minute was, it could be the first minute or the last minute, I would ask HR, I would ask management, I would call the, the higher up HR. No one will give me a complete answer of why that was happening. They just said it was their policy. It made no sense and it's a quick and easy way for them to fire you. Disgusting how they do that. So yeah, um, I'm gonna just end off everything with a quick, I'm gonna just say this about Amazon. 
it's I don't care if they come after me or not because I'm fired already. So what's the point? Bro, Amazon is garbage. Don't work there. I, I promise you, do not work there. If that is, I don't even care if that is your last resort. Go back to McDonald's or something. Like I swear to God, I'd rather work fast food again than go to than go work at Amazon. So yeah, look, I'm about to get up out of here. Um, because I actually got a video shoot here. Actually, right now, I got a front note video to shoot because I gotta be there in about an hour, like 45 minutes. And that is, like I live an hour from everything. It's horrible. But yeah, I'm about to get up out of here. Um, if you watched it and you liked it, throw a little thumbs up. So yeah, uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.